change the angle a little bit here. I seem to be wandering off the, the viewfinder. What I'm going to do now is just zigzag across here to thin this out. It's really thick right here. And I kind of did that on purpose so that, you know, at least I knew the point was not going to snap off while I was hitting the base, but now it's time to thin it out. I may have to use a pressure flaker to get some of this. Because the uh, I think I abraded that too much. I'm not able to catch on to it. You gotta be able to catch that edge with a little bit of friction in order to remove a flake. The smaller the tool point, the more force is in one area. So if you have a stubborn area, or if I have a stubborn area, I tend to, to use the smallest point possible. The smallest pointed tool. Again, I'm kind of particular about the tips. So, I might linger here a little bit longer than other guys. I went ahead and glued the uh, black leather to the uh, bark tan leather so it won't be flapping around. Trimmed it up a little bit. It was a little bit large. But again, I, I try to stay on the curvature of my knee because my my intention is to not uh, bridge this thing, which means don't put pressure on the outside and then on the ends and then push in the middle because that's, that's causing a bridge. And if you push in the middle, it snaps off the, the ends. So if the only pressure is just under your tool, you're not going to encounter that problem. And I used I rest the edge. A lot of these are flat sided, so you just rest the flat side on there. Make sure that there's no pressure pushing up on that tip. And then when you push down, you're not really making a dent in the pad, you're just kind of moving the whole pad. If that makes any sense. Okay, this, the edges are getting kind of sharp enough for me to grab on with the copper. And I'm I'm going to probably do a lot of preparation for the final flaking sequence so I can try to imitate the way the other point looked. The other point looked like there wasn't hardly any edge work. So either the guy had a lot of experience or he prepared the point for the final sequence of flakes. 
which is what I'm going to do.